Hello again, this is Dr. Tony. I am a chiropractor in Upland. I'm here with Vanessa, my new friend. Hi. How you doing? She owns Sweat Logic, which is in the Upland Sports Arena in Upland. And she has started this, I want to call it, would you call it a mini studio? Micro studio. Micro studio, sorry. Mm -hmm. And what she's able to accomplish here in this micro studio is help people feel better, get well in a non-big gym setting. What I mean by that, you're not in here with people coming in all out, you're packed with different machines, different people coming in, and classes that you can't get to. She has a class schedule that's to be for people that work in the morning, want to work out at night, or work out midday. She's able to, to bring people in, her staff, to help guide you through different movements so you work out efficiently. What I mean by that, I've had 24 people come in my office from just getting hurt from the deadlift exercise alone. If you can work with a trainer or someone in a group setting, individually or as a group to get yourself to get healthy it's more efficient time consuming and you're going to feel better also she offers yoga pilates she'll walk through everything to even sound uh meditation to make your body feel and be better so vanessa start out with what why did you want to start this concept this of a micro studio um well really it's about movement we okay. want movement in the body so how yeah. were we able to create a space that was available to the masses? Meaning, okay. you know, if you haven't quite been the gym person or mm -hmm. you perhaps um, have tried certain videos at home, but they're not quite working for you. It's a place to be able to stop by, say hello, join a community of people who are generally looking for the same thing as you. Good. And then additionally, learn how to do things correctly. So my staff here at Salt Logic, we, really take our time to make sure that you know what you're doing. So if there's any type of modifications that need to be created, or perhaps that there's something that you have naturally created muscle memory and doing yes. things incorrectly, we take the time to show you how to do things the right way. So that way you have access to building good quality muscle, but also creating this space in your body where you know that everything else will flow correctly with your movement. So movement is meant to be medicine. It's not meant to hurt you. We are not in the business of hurting people. We are in the business of supporting people and getting stronger and getting more mobile and keeping that as you age. And I like that because same thing with what I do, when you move better, your joints, your body, your overall body's internal system of physiology, your bloodstream, your hormones work better too. So when you have people come in here, what's the major thing they're looking to do when they're here? When they first join, the first thing about joining Sweat logic. Sweat. Sweat logic, yep. Sweat. sweat. Okay. okay. <laughs> to okay. sweat. Good. The body is meant to sweat. There are yeah. so many studies in the world that mm -hmm. really tell you that sweating is such a beautiful and very detoxifying process. Good. And a lot of people are very scared of sweating, but the reality is, is that if you can sweat, you can get your body to move and to get all these systems, mm -hmm. you're talking about hormones, your circulatory system, your digestive system, everything moving. Well, guess what? You're going to feel better. Detox and get rid of all of those things. So the first thing is to sweat. That's also why our classes are warm so that mm -hmm. we're in the setting to get ourselves moving, sweating, but generally movement, right? We're trying to move the body. Think about it. High position, low position. Your heart rate has to rise and drop in order to get you high and low. It's pretty simple. And then imagine having fun. What? Doing it. That's ridiculous. Why would someone want to come in sweat and have fun? Because that's what we do here. Good, good, good. And and when what makes someone feel comfortable, feel uncomfortable sweating? We're all doing it. Good. good. We're doing it together. And mm -hmm. the environment here is not judgment based. It is not any specific cookie cutter we know everybody's body is different mm -hmm. your body will not do the same thing that my body does nor yours dr no, tony and i stiff. tell my students all the time you're the one that takes your body home at night mm -hmm. you're the one that takes your body to dr tony exactly. to get adjusted because you were trying to do what your teacher was telling you to do rather mm -hmm. than listening or learning to listen to what your body is asking for so we really challenge our students to give the maximum for your individual self, not do a chaturanga because I can do a chaturanga. If yours looks different, yours is a halfway little push, you're creating a little bit of a different drive, mm -hmm. that's fine. Mm -hmm. As long as we see that you're not gonna hurt yourself. Yes, I, I one time, my personal story, I started my first yoga session was a vinyasa yoga. I had no idea what I was doing and I showed up I did what I could following the teacher, following other students who've been there for many, many months for my first time. 
I barely got off the ground to walk out of there. I was sore from the neck down for three days. I'd hurt myself, thank God, but I, if I had known, okay, I start here, I start here, and work with a trainer, a coach, someone that knows what they're doing, and get assessed properly, at that point, I may have enjoyed it more. Because what happens if someone gets hurt or gets injured or feels too sore in their workout? What are they what are normally doing? They don't come back. They stop. Why do people join the gym in January? And even, why do they have a, a full year membership at a normal big, I call it big building gym, because they know they're not gonna come back for the next 11 months. Can we make sure your experience at a place like this, Sweat Logic, with Vanessa and her team, makes you overall want to stay healthy by being uncomfortable and learning certain motions so your body can stay healthy internal and external. And when someone comes in initially, what's the initial you want to call it, intro that they do when they're here? Do you do an assessment with them? Do you walk them through certain things? Well, I ask them to figure out what classes match their schedule. Good. Okay. Um, I ask them to try everything because Good. you won't even know that you mm -hmm. love bar until you try bar. Um, and it's and it's for men too. Don't I was going to ask you beforehand, I forgot to ask for the show, explain what bar is, because most guys, especially some, and most women probably, I'm assuming, don't know what, what is a bar workout or what is a bar class entail? Sure. Um, a bar, a classical bar is like a ballet so bar. this one over here, right? Yeah, so there's one just right here. Right over here, front quick and back little room. Room. There you go. There we go. There's your bar. Okay. Right. Okay. And so, um, bar is actually a beautiful synergy of yoga, Pilates, calisthenics, and a little ballet. So when okay. we say a little ballet, it's not like you're going to be dancing across the room and leaping. It's look at the movements that ballet dancers do and the long lean muscle that's created. Yeah. So can we marry that into a fitness class? Can that we put painful. yoga? It's not painful at all. Good. Well, maybe <laughs> I won't say it's easy. It's not easy because it'd be easy to everyone do it. But exactly. What, and what is someone who, when they get into a bar workout, what would their What's the basics they want to come in with? Is it more of a need for balance, more need for flexibility, more for strength, or for all three? All of it. Good. All of okay. it. You know, bar generally supports you with great balance, okay. a tremendous amount of core strength. Working in the non-lateral, we're working a lot in this like open lateral, okay. open straight to your sides direction. Um, giving the space through your gait, opening up, really protecting the knees and the ankles building strength in the feet and the calves, things that you probably won't quite get in another style or at least box gym setting. Um, and then bar overall is a mix of cardio and strength. So mm. you in a 45 minute class, will yeah. not, not only burn a ton of calories, but you're gonna also build those long stretched lean muscle. Well, well, and when you walk some, some, someone through a bar class for the first, second time as a beginner, what do you want them to feel? How far should they push their muscles with a range of motion, with their movement, where it's okay? It's not gonna hurt them later. So generally with your first yeah. couple times, mm -hmm. um, it's try to follow along. Okay. And when I say try to follow along is there's a lot of information that you get to learn in your first few classes. So we don't necessarily wanna be like, you have to be perfect at this. Mm -hmm. Many exercises are gonna look exactly the same, but we're gonna target very different things. And as you come more often, you get to understand what your muscle is doing teaching you over time. With bar, it's about repetition, and we make very tiny movements. Wow, okay. So it's about creating these pulses or these small movements, so that way your body in repetition starts to learn that muscle memory. Mm. And having that small movement repetition, how does that help someone outside the studio? Oh, and everything. How you Good. walk, how you get up off a chair, how you get mm -hmm. into the car, how you even squat down and pick up something from the floor. All of those movements are creating strength, specifically in your core, that help you do everything else in your normal life. And the biggest thing I'm seeing from this and just our time being of what to call this September 2000 or October already, 2021, people don't move enough. They're no. stuck behind a computer. They're stuck at work in a little cubicle area for one, two. When you come here, are you helping people, one thing, avoid injury and injury recovery? Both. Good, okay, Both. good, good. And also, teaching people. Mm -hmm. Your body is an investment. Good. And you may as well learn how to use it because I would say about 80% of people that walk in here for the first time wouldn't even know how to engage pull through the hips up into the ribs so that way you have access to engaging through the lower abs. That mm -hmm. simple tuck 
of what we call, mm -hmm. it's called a tuck, will create a massive amount of strength building inside your center. Good. That's very uncommon for people to just know because somebody that, randomly taught them. No one ever taught them that. No. And if, if you're naive, like I would be coming in, at that point, how do I learn to work these small muscles of my body, when they never heard it before, to help me get out of a chair, help me fix something up, help me not injure myself at work or at home, or just having fun? Well, and I deal with people all the time that they have injuries because they, they stepped out of a chair, they, they, they stood up, and all of a sudden their back hurt. They brush their teeth all day, they brush their teeth in the morning, their back went out of them. It wasn't brushing their teeth, it wasn't the chair's fault. It was them not taking care of the body because they didn't know what to do. Coming here, not only are you going to learn how to do certain movements, but what, what, you, what muscles you're working so you understand your body. It's always your body, right? Okay, you can, you can invest your body staying healthy or invest your body having surgeries, taking medications, spending time energy, paying co-pays, inductibles. Why not do it to stay healthy and your quality of life stays here instead of when to go here and then you worry about your body. People come to see me because they're in pain. I get it. Okay, but I want to teach them along with Vanessa how to take care of their body to become their best person for them, their best doctor. So then you take care of your body so you know, you know, no longer naive, that it's up to you to take care of your body, not us, not Vanessa. You showing up to your class, you asking questions, you engaging your muscles and feeling uncomfortable until it becomes comfortable for you. That's my softball, that's my soapbox work. People getting healthy and staying healthy. Vanessa, what else do you offer here? So we offer yoga, Pilates, okay. bar, I just explained what that okay. was. Um, we offer TRX, which is the suspension trainers, Good. using Good. angles, and there is so scalable. One person who's brand new versus somebody who's come to 100 yes. classes can do the exact same class at very different levels. Well, what do you mean by that? I know what they mean, but what do you mean by that? So basically, if you have a brand new person answer. who's not very strong, yep. that person... TRX is right that there. Class, uh. That's where they live. Right back there, I think. Uh, oh, there they are. We'll come in and do a very, let's say, very easy version of, let's say, a pool, right? Okay. We're doing a pool here. Mm -hmm. Well, if you increase the angle, somebody who's been there longer is now going to be doing a pool now at an angle, pulling their body up and extending back out. Same exercise, but it is very different intensity. So you're using more body weight when they do the exercise versus less. Oh, absolutely. Fantastic. Absolutely. Good. We also have water rowing machines. So the okay. water rowers, they're meant to support you by pushing the water with the paddles, using wow. the handle to pull okay. it back. And then we use water rowers very strangely in this studio. Okay. We use them almost like reformer machines. So sometimes okay. your knees are going on the seat, your feet are going on the seat. You're using the frame to create stretching for different parts of your body. So it's very strange. So when you yeah. come into a rowing class, you're going to be like, wait, I don't have to wear shoes. Okay, my here? feet aren't strapped in. No, we will use them very differently than a normal setting that you would be using. So we use TRX in the rowing to get people to build their strength what they know what to do already. Well, I have brand new people. First okay. time ever working out in years Good. coming to row. Wow. Okay. So it's, it's about taking the time to learn that client, taking mm -hmm. the time to figure out where their strengths are Good. and creating the scalable exercise routine for them. Good. Because I don't expect somebody to be perfect their first day. No. It's never going to happen. But if they come for 10 classes, I am going to expect them to be better. So and they, they would want to come back because they enjoyed that type of a workout because they feel good with that workout. Oh, absolutely. Everyone's different, right? I mean, I, I love to do weights. I love to do running. I may not love to do TRX, but I'll do it. But it might be my favorite thing. I may mm -hmm. like to row. I may do all the time. I want to do this instead. So giving mm -hmm. people the option, different things you have here allows them to enjoy the studio and not feel like they're stuck in one thing all the time. Right, and then right. there are so many different options throughout the mm -hmm. week, so that way you can come in and do TRX in the morning, or maybe you want to come back in the afternoon and do a bar class, whatever it is, there's a little bit of everything all over the schedule. Mm -hmm. And then my team is a fabulous group of dynamic personalities, but the one mm -hmm. thing that they all have in <laughs> common is, is that they're all really fun. So okay. there's always some level of excitement. I cannot tell you enough how many people come to me and tell me how great my team is. So I, there's just such a beautiful spirit here. So you're absolutely welcomed. You know that you're gonna be taken care of. And more than anything, injury prevention, mm -hmm. injury strengthening, meaning like to Good. get your body to remove yourself from that space. But more than anything, having fun. Because workouts should be fun. If they weren't fun, you wouldn't come back. And it's probably something you've experienced well, a lot of it is you find a community of people that are willing to help you sincerely and make it fun and enjoyable so you want to come back because you enjoy being here. It's, genu it's genuine. 
They're trying to help you become a better person, the same sense making it fun and enjoyable and enthusiastic. Oh, absolutely. Good. Explain to me how, because some people may not know, yoga versus Pilates, what is the difference or how would you explain that? Movement. Okay. Movement is different. So okay. uh, they both are very similar. So a lot okay. of people that don't have any experience with either. Um, yoga is more of a flow-based movement. There are okay. inversions in yoga, meaning a down, even a downward facing dog is an inversion where your head is below your heart. We're shifting. There's lots of movements in shifting your body weight, coming into a chaturanga or a push up all the way to the floor, creating nice open spaces and downward spaces with the breath movement. Good. In Pilates, the breath is very different. The breath is very forced. <laughs> breath, pushing okay. the diaphragm down and back so that you create this lateral breathing out back through your back and out the sides. Okay. What that does is increases, it creates the engagement of the core. Mm. So we have this deeper breathing work with whatever it is that we may be doing. Perhaps yeah. you're in a standard plank or a forearm plank. We do back strengthening exercises. We work through the side body, upper abs, lower abs. We do glutes, legs, and arms all in the same class for a Pilates class. Wow. So you are getting a full dynamic workout in 50 minutes. It's, it, it sounds easy, but it's not. <laughs> It, it, but it's also you can modify how you want to modify too, correct? Mm -hmm. So Good. each of the classes, the teachers are, are trained mm -hmm. to give modifications automatically. Yeah, now, if there's an additional injury that gets to be looked at, mm -hmm. then we take some time and look at that specific client, come over, individually support that specific client. But generally, if there's a group of 10 people in here, you're still going to get your same workout Good. Even though you may have to modify it. And then, you know, we have some people here that are pretty intense. They've been working yeah. out for a long time. Um, I've had private clients that stayed with me throughout the entire pandemic that are still super strong. Wow. Same classroom. I'm giving them something else that they can do. They can Good. add on. They can create even more work with their own body. Or perhaps they scale up to lighter, or excuse me, a heavier set of weights. Or whatever it is the intensity is. Um, we have, you know, anywhere from one pound weights to 15 pound weights here. Five pound balls to 10 pound balls. Your TRX are completely scalable. Yeah. Our bands, resistance bands, anywhere from super easy, like to yeah. the point where I rip it if I just pulled it apart, yeah. or the ones that it's like, like okay, go that side, I'll do that side over here. <laughs> so wow. we have the accessibility for you to find what serves you for that day. So even though you're in a class setting, you can modify how you want to modify, get the best workout for you that day. Oh, absolutely. Like my mom comes to class. She was here this morning. Yeah. Right. So I'm here with my workout and my thing and she's right next to me. Very different scales, mm -hmm. but we are still together. Wow. Which is really fun. Good. And again, that community base, that family base is the key. Oh yeah. And with your yoga class, you walk with her, look at your website. What classes do you offer? What are those classes? And how are they different? Oh, okay. So um, we have our hip Pilates, which is okay. what I coined about four years ago. Um, and that's exactly what I went through with the Pilates. So mm -hmm. it is a very understanding of using your breath to support your abs. Pilates is all abs all the time. So wow. imagine that you're really working through the engagement yeah. of your center to do all of your exercises. <laughs> Bar, which we gave a little introduction about. Sure. Bar is, um, we call it tone logic here because the point okay. is to tone. That class is really meant to support the long lean muscle tone to create the length. So uh, okay. um, again, a ballet inspired, but not dance class. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our yoga sculpt, which is a yoga flow based class with weights. Okay. We have our TRX class, which there's two different styles of TRX here. Okay. We have our TRX extreme, which is in the evenings, which is warm. So we're at about a 90 degree classroom so the body can open up, get really loose, and find strength within the movement. And then we have our TRX in the mornings, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and that's a little bit more structure, okay. a little bit more rigid. So it really just depends on which style you're looking for. Um, we have our rower, rower class. Got it. Um, the rowing class is a water rower, and of course we do all kinds of fun things on yeah. the rower, but we're also right next to our mat. So we're gonna do some calisthenic uh, okay. work on the mat, which means using your own body weight on your mat, mm -hmm. and then you get right back on the rower. We do that in circuits. Wow. Okay, uh, we're starting Zumba class this coming week, so I'm All super right. excited to get that going. Again, that's just a fun dance style that is a dance mm -hmm. style class. Um, and then finally, we have restorative and meditation. So yep. that class awesome. is mm -hmm. meant to be super calm. 
Okay. It there's is, no TRX in that class. There's no Just TRX sure. in that class. We are on, the, for the most part, we're on the floor. Okay. Okay. So, um, and we do long, slow holds of different poses. So for, for instance, maybe we're doing windshield wipers. Knees go right and left, right and left. We'll keep the knees to the right for about three to four minutes. Wow. And this is gonna allow the hips to open up, finding that space, lengthening through that middle spine, mm -hmm. finding the open space for the thighs. So it's meant to be these long holds, but within the holds, we create that meditation. Good. So um, the, those classes, they are meant to be a little bit of a darker setting. We change the light, put the candles on, so we change Dark, the light. Dark, relax, not like dark, scary. Not dark, scary. Okay, so make sure, it's Halloween. Dark, not dark, scary. <laughs> Speaking of Halloween, all, of, yes. all the evening classes, the last week of October, are glow in the dark. Saw that on your website too. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> and with your sound, you have a sound class once a month, is it? We do. We have a sound what bath. So a sound bath is a healing practice. Okay. So um, what we do is we have Dustin, who's magical with his sound bowls um, yes. and his gong. He we come in and we have our gong mm. and bowls set up here. Okay. We all find a nice open space for us to lie down on the floor, allowing okay. our bodies to first. We first pick up the energy, meaning we pull out the bioenergetics, which is okay. generally pulling energy from your center, releasing out like a cathartic feeling. Okay. It's very silly. A lot of yeah. people look yeah. at me like I'm crazy when I teach that. I'm crazy but all the time. But it's such that. a beautiful experience to cathart, yeah. to get rid of all these things that your body is holding on to. Wow. Then we go onto the floor and we heal. So your body is now released out things that no longer serve, and then now it's letting in the beautiful things that are still available the positivity, the grace, the light that's still there. And going through all your class that I saw on your website and talking right now and this talk so far, you have enough things here, classes and, and meditation and what you're doing to help someone get strong, more flexible, release the tension, but also the mental health part of it too. Yeah, I'm a certified life coach, so I Sweet. instill so many of my other practices into even the class. Can you help someone stay positive in a stressful in a stressful world in their stressful life by coming here for classes that are maybe forty five minutes, half an hour, an hour, whatever it is, and get them to feel they can go out there and now not I won't say conquer the day, but they can deal with that stressors of their day. If they want to. Yeah, if they choose to. If they choose still to still a free country. It is. So generally yeah. I'm not gonna force anybody to create no, a new way to. of being. No. But if you're open to it, you're open to coaching, you're open to the mm -hmm. space of shifting from right to left, from up to down, mm -hmm. from happy to sad, then yes, absolutely. Fantastic. If you're not open, eh. that might be a little harder. But you give me the opportunity to. You teach, you teach them, I would say teach them, but you make them more aware of how to get there. Absolutely. That's absolutely. like a bonus I didn't even know they had here. Mm -hmm. Coaching, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And your clients you've had so far, you said, but especially long-term ones, why do they keep coming back? What benefit do they see physical, maybe mental, maybe spiritual? What benefits do they, do they express to you or communicate to you? Sure. Um, mo the most common one is tone. Okay. How tone they feel, how much weight they've lost. It's how... tone, it's tone. So people, okay, so tone, again, tone is noticing that muscles in your body showing up. Got it. Okay. And that's tone in, in two ways. Tone in the way of literally physically seeing your body tone up, like you're seeing fat loss and the muscle gain. Mm -hmm but also toning in the sense of the internal, toning into this beautiful vessel of goddess or God inside of you and how you feel about yourself. How you feel about yourself, hint, hint, it's great. Yes. Good. Yes, that um, generally feeling better, like having more energy, mm -hmm. waking up earlier, being able to sleep a little bit longer or during the night sleep a little bit longer, taking less naps during the day. More deeper sleep. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Good. Because my goal is to exhaust you. <laughs> yeah, so you actually gain that ability to gain more energy. Absolutely, wow. because you have to fill your cup in order to let it out and give it to others. And what do you, when you tell someone, okay, try this for a minute, what is your time frame for someone to see, see a result of that per person? Well, it is individually based, but okay. if I had to give it an average, I would say three weeks. Okay. Three weeks is when you're really going to see, like, oh, wow, my pants fit, or I'm noticing I stand taller, or I'm noticing my arms are thinner, or my legs are thinner. Three weeks is when you're going to start to really see the Good. shifts and the changes. And three weeks are coming in once a week? I would say at least two to three. Good. I'm going to say it's four to five. Yeah. Why not? If well, you're a member here, you're a member here, correct? Absolutely. It's not. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is, 
when you give yourself a chance to feel maybe uncomfortable or not knowing that now you know, now your body needs time to adapt to that. And you may feel sore and comfortable, that might even be tired until your body gets used to that, that new environment, that internal environment. Mm -hmm. Give yourself a chance to, in my sense, enjoy all of it, pick and choose once you find out what you like to do, but maintain that routine coming in three or four times a week so your body has a chance to adapt physiologically so you get that overall health benefit, maybe spiritual, mental, or physical. Yeah, and the classes are actually stacked so that you have mm. access to do more than one at a time. Well, you don't have to go home. You can stay here all day <laughs> if you want. Well, I mean, if you come in for the 7 <laughs> o'clock, uh, or excuse me, 6 o'clock TRX yes. class, and then you stay for the 7 o'clock meditation, Why not? you get the best of both worlds. Can you just like rent a space here, just live here all day? I mean, you if you to? want to. Yeah. Once you could. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Anything else for your first video with us at the Crooked Spine show from audience to hear from you? Yeah, just move. Good. That, that's the most important thing. Move your body. And I promise you the hardest part is getting here. Mm -hmm. Once you're here, you're having fun. You're having a great time. Once you walk out, mm -hmm. you feel like a million dollars because you have all these wonderful endorphins moving through your body. Everything is shifting. Everything is creating energy creates energy. Yes. So you may as well stock up. And once you do it enough and have that feeling come in and leaving, your body actually wants to keep doing that and maintain that higher level of endorphins. So your perception of the world that's outside becomes more positive. Oh, absolutely. Is that right? I don't know. I was yeah. guessing. Well, and the way I look at things, one of my favorite quotes is rising tides raise all ships. Yes. So if my energy can support people in my life and raise them up and then your energy when you've come to class goes mm -hmm. out into the world and raises those ships up, then we're living in a more elevated world. Can my positivity have the ripple effect to affect your cousin, your cousin's coworker, your cousin's coworker's best friend? Yes, it can. Yes. But it has to start somewhere. That's with me. Yeah. That's yeah. with the next person. That's Good. with the next person if they choose to. Good. And you're seeing that benefit here by as you grow more and more where that community base is going outside of the studio. Absolutely. And going to other other people in the area too. Absolutely. But I'm not. And on, on my show, I have the links to her website, her Facebook, and her Instagram. We'll add more to. And on her website, go to her app. Her, it's called what's the app called? Mind Body Online. Mind Body Online. It shows exactly what the classes are, what it offers. She add more to it as she gets into it. Mm -hmm. All right. So, anything else? That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate that. We'll go links at that point. Check out Vanessa in this micro studio. At that point, get yourselves healthy. All right, my friends. Thanks for watching.